And we start with the fallout after someone was shot at a protest in Española yesterday. This chaotic scene was all over a statue of Juan de Oñate that was supposed to go back up, but never did. Today, the man arrested for pulling the trigger, 23-year-old Ryan Martinez, appeared before a judge accused of attempted murder. Following behind other inmates at the Rio Arriba County Detention Center, we saw Ryan Martinez and he spoke. He had a lot to say to the judge, at least until his public defender told him to be quiet. Yes, Your Honor, that's my address. And I just want to thank you for uh, uh, serving justice. I think you've done it really fairly, but I've seen, so I just want to say thank you. Do you have, is this a good address though? Thank you. Multiple witnesses say they were able to identify the shooter as Martinez because he was known for harassing the protesters online. Police say Martinez asked if someone who attempted a murder Martinez would be allowed asking, to walk what are out. The chances if someone police says that would be up to a judge. Allowed. All right, we're continuing our coverage here with Felice Romero. Felice, video of this shooting very clearly shows this suspect, Martinez, in a struggle with mm -hmm. protesters and then firing one shot. But it does lead to the question, does Martinez have a self-defense claim here? Yeah, Tommy, we always knew that Ryan Martinez could argue self-defense, but we asked our legal expert, and he says every case is different, but this could be an uphill battle. Ryan Martinez made his first appearance in court Friday, less than 24 hours after cameras caught him shooting a protester at a demonstration in Española, where plans were put on hold to reinstate a controversial statue of conquistador Juan de Oñate. In court, Martinez hinted at a self-defense claim. I'll need a public defender to begin with. I, I was the victim of a crime, so I'm, I'm, I don't believe I'm guilty. We showed the shooting video to local defense attorney Ahmad Assad. That's a different story than I thought. In the video here shows Martinez being escorted away from the crowd after he started running towards them. Martinez hops over the wall again. Let him go! He was outside the wall, all right? So if he's outside the wall, what's left for him to do? If he actually feared for his life, right? He's outside the wall, nobody followed him. Begging the question, could a claim of self-defense work? You also can't create havoc, create a scenario where ultimately you're the cause of the disruption, then you go ahead and pull out a weapon and cause injury to another. It's gonna be a tough sell on the on the self-defense claim, just looking at the video itself, and this is very important. He says Martinez would likely argue self-defense based on the number of folks that approached him. It seems like no one else from that video suggested any physical uh, movement or violence or in any way antagonism. But he still has to establish that he feared for his life. Did they threaten him with the use of a weapon? Did they say we're gonna kill you? Did they make any gestures or mannerisms suggestive of causing great bodily harm or death to him? It doesn't appear the video reflects that. Yeah, Tommy, a lot of people yesterday also said that Martinez was there all day and he was antagonizing people leading up to the shooting. Now, Ahmad Assad says if that is the case, that would also weaken his self-defense claim. And we saw him in our video, too, mm -hmm. walking around. A lot more to come shortly in this case. Definitely. Thank you, Felice.